The first thing we want to do is to check the propellers for any damage. Scratched or damaged propellers may be out of balance and your Phantom 3 standard may not perform at peak efficiency. If they are damaged, replace them with a new set. Now let me explain the basics of how the motors spin. The front right motor is known as motor one. It spins a counterclockwise direction. Note, it has a silver propeller thread. So, put a propeller with a silver indicator on the motor with the silver threading. Spin the propeller clockwise and tighten by hand to secure. Motor 2 spins in a clockwise direction. Note, it has a black propeller thread. So, put a propeller with a black indicator onto the motor with the black threading. Spin the propeller in a counterclockwise direction and tighten by hand to secure. Motor 3. The rear left motor spins in a counterclockwise direction. Note, it has a silver propeller thread. So put a propeller with a silver indicator onto the motor with the silver threading. Spin the propeller clockwise and tighten by hand to secure. Motor 4 the rear right motor spins in a clockwise direction. Note, it has a black propeller thread. So put a propeller with a black indicator onto the motor with a black threading. Spin the propeller counterclockwise and tighten by hand. For safety reasons, it is very important that you do not install a black indicated propeller onto a silver threaded motor and vice versa. Also, as the installation is in the opposite direction, it means that the propeller will tighten itself as the motor spins. The direction you should spin each motor to tighten or to remove is indicated by the lock and unlock icons on the propellers. Before you fly the Phantom 3 standard outside for the very first time or when flying in a new location, please make sure that you calibrate the compass. Please choose an open area to carry out the following procedures to calibrate the compass.